Hi, so I just wanted to do a little update here on where my tank's at. Uh, right now, I'm having a little bit of a green hair algae problem. I just started here recently. I noticed that my phosphates were starting to go up. I believe in my eyes that uh, I checked my, you know, the RO water I have here, the deionized water. Everything seems to be on the up and up. So I'm pretty sure what's happening is I have uh, too big of a load of fish in the tank with all the mollies. And as they're growing and as I'm feeding them more, it's it's all kind of self-inflicted. I believe it's a, a feed thing and I'm doing it to myself. Uh, so I'm I'm going to be, uh, you know, eventually getting the mollies out of the tank here and getting moving on with the tank here with the fish that I wanted to put in the tank. Uh, in the meantime, though, right now I am going to do a little bit of a test here on this these fluval phosphate pads. I just thought I'd show the results to you. Uh, then we, you know, then I'm going to probably be trying something else as well. I just wanted to throw this kind of a short video just to show you what uh, struggles and stuff I'm going through at the time. Okay, so I wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, it looks like uh, I've let my phosphates get a little higher than they should be for sure. Uh, part of it is I've been doing a lot of feeding with all these mollies in here. Uh, they're going to be coming out of there. Most of the mollies will be. I'm going to be starting with the other fish here pretty soon. I'm going to set up a tank, uh, you know, for quarantine and get some fish in here. I'm, I'm going to take care of them in the meantime, but right, right at the moment, you can see I'm feeding and I'm getting all sorts of bad uh, algae. I got some hair algae there. If you look around, uh, you can see it sprouting up all over. Even on the uh, on the frag plugs of the corals, you can see it starting to show up there. Now the mollies are pretty much eating most of the other algae that's in the tank, but they're not really eating that hair algae, so it's starting to grow. It's going to be starting to become a problem. So I'm going to have to do something about it. I did order some pads from uh, Fluval. Uh, that are actually you can see the hair on that grape there. I'm going to go in and hand pick a bunch of that off here shortly. Uh, but I was going to show you because I'm going to be ordering some pads for the for the filtration here. They're f pads that are supposed to remove phosphates. As you can see, a lot of the rocks that isn't you know there isn't much algae at all yet still to this point, uh, but certain areas. And I don't know for sure what that kind of floating like algae on that one rock is. I realize this is a new phase in the tank and you know obviously you're going to run into different things like that but this hair algae is one thing that I do want to try to get taken care of and I keep it under control because if, if you don't get after it immediately uh, it can certainly get out of control and really mess up a look of a tank for you. I'm probably, once I get rid of those, all them small mollies in there, as you can see, they're just, they're all over the place. Uh, I'm gonna be catching them out. I might actually do a video on catching them too because I'm gonna try to make a trap for them. And uh, we'll see how that works out, uh, if that even works, the trap that I'm thinking. But I'm going to be doing these fluval pads here. I'll show you in a second, and I'll show you what I'm doing when I put them in here. I just wanted to give you a good look at what's going on in my tank because uh, it's starting to starting to really, I guess, algae over. So here's a shot of what I'm going to put in the filters. I'm actually going to take out where the carbon goes and I'm going to put these in its place. i let them run for a few days here. I did read on here it says they're supposed to last for like a month. I don't know. Well, I, I'm not sure if these are going to work or if they're going to do anything at all. There's not really, there's not really a whole lot to it. It's just a 
two little sponge thing. I don't know how it's supposed to reduce the phosphates for sure. Uh, it's a lot of the writing on this box isn't even in English. But I haven't seen any videos out there about them and I've seen where they make these for the Flex and for the other Evos, Specs, that type of thing where you can see it's right here up on top. I, I thought, well, it'd be worth a shot, see how it works out, see if it's worth the money. Uh, they're actually fairly inexpensive, uh, but if they don't do anything, that doesn't mean a whole lot either. So uh, we'll have to see exactly how that works out for us. Uh, like I said, you can tell that most of it here, well, there, there's some English on this side. But see, this is how I'll be putting them in there, basically in the top chamber. I'll show you that here as well. And then we'll just let them run and we'll check the phosphates. Uh, hopefully we can get them to come down. If not, I'm going to be probably buying some other phosphate remover. Uh, that way we can for sure get them down. There's a couple I know that work for sure. I just didn't really want to drop it too fast because uh, I know that can cause problems too. So we'll take a look here and we'll see how these work. So there's two of these. Uh, we have one over here on this side. I'll just be showing you one here. I mean, it's going to be the exact same thing and that one's got cords and stuff. It's a little bit hard to film when I'm pulling that in and out. Uh, but this one here, basically you just got the nice little grabber. I've actually already got it in there. Thought it might be easier on the video here if I... You know, because that way you can see, basically it just slides in there. Like I said, it's just a little green sponge. There's not much to it. There's two of them that fit in on each side. I don't know exactly what the concept is as far as how it filters it out. If it's if it catches it, catches it as a debris or if it uh, causes it to cling to it. Or if there's a chemical in it not sure uh, we're gonna try and find out and see hopefully it does reduce it we'll see how things work I'll do a phosphate test here in a little bit and you know after I have it running for a few days and we'll see how that works see if it's reduced it at all so it's been now about a week since I put them pads in there. Uh, I just wanted to do a test. I'm going to use my HANA phosphate test kit here to see how that worked out. I'm not going to put you through the whole testing phase. Uh, I'm going to do the test here and then when it's done I'll show you uh, what it's turned out here. Uh, I already have a video out there showing you how to use the checker. I just wanted to show you which one I'd be using. I'll go start on the test right now. Alright, so we got just one second here. It's checking now. 0 0.90. Wow. I think it's actually went up since I started using them. Uh, I have actually been doing more feeding uh, with the mollies in there. And the mollies have been growing, so obviously there's more waste. I... Probably I'm going to be taking another approach on getting this phosphate level down. I just wanted to share this with you, uh, give you an idea. I, I mean, as of right now, I don't feel as though those pads that I bought are really worth uh, the time or the money. Uh, once I get the phosphate levels back down to a, a good level, I may put a fresh set in there and see if it helps maintain it. Maybe it's more of a you know maintaining type setup than it is for a reducing. Uh, but this is just uh, entirely way too high of phosphates here. And you can see exactly why I'm getting the green hair algae that I am.